hello friends welcome to the video so today in this video i am going to show you how to make the kgf2 fire text tutorial so it's a very very easy method so i think this is the easiest method so for that you will need adobe after effects then you will need a plugin called saber which you can download from the video copilot website for free in in the google chrome and then you need another plugin called trap code particular which you can download from the chrome so first of all you have to download the rar file which i will provide the download link in the description box so uh, this is the rar file so open it so open it uh, you have to open the kgf folder then you have to um, copy this kgf uh, after effects project to the desktop so i have already copied it then you have to copy this images to the desktop so then you have to open the project so here i have grouped the saber logo comp and the render comp So then uh, you have to just add these three composition. So first you have to select the text if you want to create a text then what you have to do is just delete this one and just right click new text and just type uh, here I am going to write kgf itself. So if you want to change it to another um font you can just change here i'm going to give it the kg font itself which it's the coburn italic you can download it for free using the google chrome coburn yes this is the coburn italic let's increase the size to bring it to the center Just adjust the position. Yes, this is enough because um, in the final output, the video will be zoomed a little bit. So uh, after typing this one, click the text, go to layer option, then go to auto trace. So if you are using the text by typing here, you have to just change the channel to alpha. Uh, for um, for you guys, uh, the the options will be like this alpha. Then you have to just deselect the invert. So alpha channel alpha, deselect the invert. Uh, so the auto trace has been created. So just delete the text. So you can see the auto trace. There is an outline for the KGF text. So now what you have to do is just click the M. Then you can see uh, the layer like this outline. So you have to just bring the cursor here. Just left click and just drag. So you have to select all the mask or the outline. Then CTRL C. You have to copy this. Then what you have to do is go to the local composition. So what you have to do is go to the saver so the fire effect will be given to the outline so we have to change this to our text so what you have to do is click the saver click m then select these mask then you have to delete it you have to double click the delete button then only it will get deleted then what you have to do is just click the saver ctrl v just paste it Just change the quarter. Now uh, our, the fire is on the kg of text. Now you can go to the render composition, which is the final output, and it will automatically ch change to the final output. Just to wait a little bit. Yes. Now this will be the final output, and if you want to 
um, change the size of the text you have to do it again from the beginning that's the problem then uh, so our text here is ready now I will show you how to make this fire effect in a image so then you can just uh, save by just going to the composition if you have Adobe Media Encoder Q then you can just directly get the output in the form of mp4 but if you have to uh, if you don't have the media encoder just add to the render queue uh, just I will delete you have to delete this one so I'm just deleting the other one so this is the final output so you have to change the best settings if you want only so I think this is in 8k or something so if you have changed it to half it will become the 4k so this is uh, half is better because it will render faster than normal so just change it to this one then the go to output mode lossless then there is no audio in this uh, in this video so you can just off it so it's a ABA format just ok then click the output to then you can uh, just uh, select the folder in which you want then change it to just the um, file name just like this pgf just like that then just have to render it so I have many files like this so just I am stopping it and uh, you can um, you can just convert this AVI into um, the mp4 format using the VLC media player so I will show you how to do that so just here to just delete it. so I will show you how to just convert it to mp4 just open the VLC media player go to media then go to convert or save click the add option you have to select the file I'm just selecting the AVI file then just convert and save you have to click the browse option just select the folder in which you want to save and just just change the file name and save just if you click the start option it will uh, just convert like this the blue line will appear So it's, it's converting and the converting process has been finished so just close it and uh, yeah the file has been converted into mp4 you can just open I'll show you using the media player we'll see itself so this will be the final output like this and I will show you how to um, do it for the picture also just going to the AE um, so just go to saber delete the mask double double delete just delete this one and I have to import the picture which you want to make this fire effect so I'm just uh, selecting the Apple logo just change it to this pointer selection tool make just a little bit small it's okay I think this is enough so then what you have to do is to create the outline so for that click the Apple logo this uh, layer go to the layer option go to auto trace so here what you have to do is uh, to change the channel alpha to red then click the invert option now apply to a new layer and just if you want to just uh, change your settings to this setting so just click ok and now what you have to do is just to delete the logo png now this selection 
and now click M just only I think two masks so just copy this CTRL plus C then have to go to the logo composition click saber click M delete this mask you have to double tap the delete CTRL plus B to paste it If you go to after pacing it in the logo composition, just go to the render composition and this is our final output. So as usual you can go to composition at to render queue, then you can change the settings as I have showed earlier, just render it. So that's all for the video I think. I hope you enjoyed this video please like share maximum and subscribe and that's all thank you